everybody. Um, this is Shelly, Thrifty Farm Mama. And just like my title said, I went to the Goodwill Outlet like three weeks ago. And I cannot remember everything that I got. Like seriously. I don't know if any of you have done that before when you are thrifting too much or you're... <laughs> You go out and you just forget a death pile that you had and you go and you look at it and you're like, I don't even remember what I got. So uh, my sister-in-law, Rachel, and I went to the Goodwill Outlet three weeks ago and we actually went on a girls weekend, which was super fun. It was super fun. It's been a long time since we've gone out. And what we did was our idea of a girls weekend is going thrifting. So um, hello. Thank you for joining. Um, so we went uh we left saturday morning we went to a local thrift store um so we i got some stuff there then we went down to we drove down to the goodwill outlet um and we thrifted there for like i don't know three or four hours and then went and had dinner and went and stayed the night somewhere just relaxed and then on the next day sunday we also we went back to the goodwill outlet so i'm gonna show you guys what i got because i seriously have not looked through any of this stuff since we got it um i ended up getting really sick right when i got home and so i was really sick for like a week and my stuff was at Rachel's house and I finally brought it home and it was in piles and I'm like, okay, I have to process all this stuff over here. It's like a pile. I have to process it. Um, now processing means I have to sort it. I have to wash everything. I have to put it in like items um, for um, taking photos and selling or if I'm going to keep something, then I need to decide that too. So I can't do that if I don't know what I have. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. So the first place we went was a little thrift store. So here's my receipt. I spent $22.72. They were having half off as usual. Most little thrift stores do. I love local little thrift stores. That's where you're going to get the best deals. Um, Goodwill is ridiculously overpriced, as you all may know. So it's really hard to do sourcing at Goodwill unless they're having like a huge sale, which they rarely have, at least in my area. So Anyway, I'm going to get right to it. Otherwise, this is going to be way too long. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. And I also, just so you all know, I don't just buy clothes. I get other stuff too. So you're going to see a variety of like random things that I get. Hi, Brandy. Thanks for joining. Um, you have six kids too? Yay! You're part of the team. <laughs> okay. Um, this was just a little shirt. It's a Wrangler top. Um, and it's like a floral. This was like 50 cents. They had like all their yellow tags were like 50 cents. Um, so it's, it's a Wrangler brand. It's a women's size large, just a button up, button up top. Um, I'm not going to go through everything. Hey, cool. That I might get on there. I've got some little tights. Those are probably, those are going to be for my girls. I love those. So the ones I'm going to keep for my girls, I'm just going to go through really fast. I seriously, you guys, I can't remember what I got. Um, okay. This was another yellow tag. I don't know that brand. Ikote, Ikote. I don't know. But it had cool embroidery. It's a little crop top. Um, it's fully lined. Uh, again, this was a yellow tag item, so it was like 50 cents. Okay. Next, I bought... Oh my gosh, I don't even know what this is. Maybe I bought it for myself. Oh no, that's right. I saw it. I remember now. It was... Um, this. It's Urban Moo Moo. It's an Urban Moo Moo is the brand. Um, oops, sorry. Urban Moo Moo actually does really well. And this, they, I didn't see any of these on um, eBay when I did comps. And it's just a crop. It's a really super soft sweatshirt. Oh, thanks, Mary. <laughs> you have to be funny with six kids and being a labor and delivery nurse. Like, you have to have a sense of humor. Um, anyway, it's a really soft sweatshirt with pockets on the sides. So I got that. I'm just throwing everything in a pile. Oh, this is for my daughter. Pants. So you're going to see me go through this fast because sometimes, oh, this was a, um, Bitty Baby is an American Girl doll. And this was a little, really pretty, um, I don't know if it's a nightgown or if it's a dress. I can't tell. But um, I think, oh, my four-year-old says it's a dress. <laughs> so this, these were going for like 15 or $16 though. Um, right? Yeah, you have to have a sense of humor with a lot of kids. Otherwise you end up either going crazy and being put in a loony bin or or you just walk out <laughs> okay this is barefoot dreams 
This is the softest thing I think I've ever felt in my entire life. And it is a cardigan sweater. Um, and it is a waterfall cardigan sweater. So it's open front. And waterfall means that it's longer in the front than in the back. So it's very, very soft. Can you say hi? Say hi. Hi. Okay. I try not to have my kids too much in my videos because there's weirdos out there. There's weirdos. Small, medium, very soft. Okay, my first bag is done. Um, this was another one. It's a it's a Calvin Klein. It's a sweater dress. Yes. Oh, you're retired with seven kids and starting eBay sales and supplement Social Security. Excellent. That's what I'm doing is I'm just supplementing my normal part-time income as a nurse. Calvin Klein, this is a really pretty sweater dress. Long sleeve. It's so, so pretty. So I tried this on and it fits me great. So I may be keeping it as... Mary Kondi would say, does this bring me joy? Do I feel joy when I have this? I think I do. This brings me joy. But my rule is when I keep something, I have to get rid of something. So that means I have to go through my closet and get rid of something if I end up keeping that. So that's a good rule of thumb as you resellers know that if you keep something, you got to get rid of something. Otherwise, you end up just being a hoarder. Um, I don't know what these are. They're puppy pants, probably for my kids. Usually if it's a no brand, uh, non name brand, I keep it for my kids. And if it has a brand that I, that I know will sell, I will sell it <laughs> even if it fits my kids because they stain everything. So I'm like, I'm just going to sell that. Um, this was uh, 50 cents also, and it's a little gray, really cute little gray um, skirt. And it is Eileen Fisher and it's a size 12. So that was kind of cool. It is very worn. Um, it's very loved, but um, it's really soft. It's like a linen rayon blend, so that was nice. And I also found this for 50 cents, which is Koi. If you guys have heard me talk about Koi before, it's just a, a scrub top and it's like a faux wrap. I actually have this exact same top um, in a different size. Oh, thank you, Marilyn. Um, okay. <clears throat> So Koi scrubs, and I actually got a lot, I know, I remember, I did get a lot of Koi scrubs, scrub pants from Outlet. I think it was the Outlet. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so here was my first day at the Goodwill Outlet. Here's my receipt. I spent a total of $75.48 on our first day. Um, so just to kind of give you guys an idea of what our outlet charges, um, we had linens were on sale so they were half off and our the, our outlet the large linens are $1.99 so I got like a huge um probably queen size plush soft blanket I think it's from Costco originally so I got that for a dollar um it's in the wash actually right now so I'm not gonna show it to you because it's in the wash um our textiles are um, $1.59 a pound, and if you go over 75 pounds, they knock it down to $1.09 a pound. If you go over 100 pounds, it's 89 cents a pound. So usually when Rachel and I go, we try, the combined two of us try to get 100 pounds if we can, or at least 75 pounds. Um, we weren't there long enough to really get that much, though, so usually that's kind of an all-day thing when we can get that much. Um, and then we, books are 49 cents each, and then... Um, Let's see what else. Kids things like toys and stuff like that are 59 cents and wares are 59 cents a pound. So that's kind of, so that'll give you guys an idea of what that is. So, and the second day, cause I got all this mixed up. I'm not going to show you like what I got each day, but on the second day I spent uh, $79 and 42 cents. So almost exactly the same. Um, and I got again, toys and wares and <clears throat> textiles and all that stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got. I got a mix of a whole bunch of things. Um, these are just a pair of men's Levi's. I've sold this style before. They have like a pocket. They're just a skinny fit. Any skinny fit men's jeans I find sell pretty well. Um, and these are a smaller size, 29.30. So um, they're pretty skinny. I do have an older son who is, I, I don't think these will fit him. I think they're just going to be too small. But they're like a gray. They're distressed whatever I, I should be able to get 15 to 20 for those um this was cool i saw this sitting on right as we were gonna leave i saw it sitting on the top of the bin it's a mini bowden jacket and it's plaid 
and it's a, like a boy's winter jacket. It's a size seven, eight. So that's awesome. I got to get this winter stuff listed because it's people are going to stop looking for winter. It does have a little bit of wear like on the cuff and stuff, but mini Bowden for kids stuff usually does really well. Um, having so many kids, I like seeing all the, the I, I don't know, I'm kind of drawn to kids stuff. So, um, I found a pair of Big Star jeans. Um, again, these definitely, when I, the Big Star jeans, um, you were just looking at Barefoot Dream sweaters. Yeah, they are pretty high. So I hopefully, I'll have to look over it and make sure there's no holes in that sweater, but I didn't think there was. Big Star jeans, this was the very first thing I sold on eBay. Mm, I know, it was awesome. $35 I sold them for. And they are definitely not selling for $35 anymore, but these are just a pair and these are definitely an older style. They're boot cut. Somebody has slit the ends. But people still love their Big Star jeans. I actually love Big Star jeans myself. Um, and these are the sweet ultra low rise. So again, you know, these are a little bit older. And they're size 27R. If anybody of you guys see something that you like in here that you want, I will put my email address um, in the description. Um, and you guys can send me an email if you want, if there's something you see before I get it up listed, because this is all going to take me a good two to three weeks to get it listed because I'm busy and I only do it part time. So, um, this was, when is the best time to go to an outlet? I have never been, I'm drawn to kids stuff too. Yes, I know. Shopping for my three kids too much. I know, me too. My kids have too many clothes. Um, the best time to go, your guess is as good as mine because I seem like, it seems like I always think, oh, this is, Marilyn, you are so sweet. Oh my gosh, that's my first, um, my first, what is it called? I don't even know. Marilyn just gave me $5. You guys, you are awesome. Thank you. Um, anyway, I, um, I think, Super Chat, that's what it is. <laughs> super Chat, thank you so much. Um, I don't know when the best time to go is. I always think of, I think that I'm going to go at a good time and then I don't. Really, I think the best time to go is when they open. Um, you're guaranteed to get a cart. It depends on the outlet you go to. It depends on where you live, what your outlet is like. Ours gets crazy and there sometimes there's fights that break out and it's a little like if you have any anxiety or you you don't like people a lot this, you probably don't want to go to the outlet um, unless you can put your buds in and just kind of ignore everything that's going around but this was just a little snow white and it's disney store i usually get disney store disney parks um because walmart sells disney stuff too but i don't always pick up that stuff so it was in really good shape just a little dress might be for my girls probably not i sometimes i'll kind of like the bin pickers i'll i'll um save those up and then lot them together um just a little pair of under armor little shorts um size oh these are youth large okay those won't sell for much but it's hard to pass up Under Armour because they used to sell really well. Oh yeah, this was really pretty. I have not done any comps on this. It's Fendi, which is made in Italy. And it is this gorgeous white, like cotton. It's not linen, but it's a fully lined little dress. And it's got like little buttons on the back. I really try to stay away from white stuff at the bins because inevitably I'll get home and find a stain on it because the lighting there is horrible. It's horrible. Like you can't hardly see anything. But this was really pretty. And I know Fendi is a really good brand. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that I can get a good return on that investment. Oh, I found some more mini Bowden. These are 12, size 12 years old. And they are these awesome boho floral um, corduroy pants. Um, I did get uh, quite a few things that were like girls size 10, 12, and I probably am going to put them all in a big lot of um, the same size. They're all higher end brands, and I'll probably put them on like Mercari, um, I'm guessing, or cross post them. I'll put them on Mercari and, and eBay both. Okay, I got this pullover hoodie, Nike. It has like this um, shiny lined hood on it and it's all black um it was in it's in really good shape i mean it's 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 got wear to it but there's no holes or stains and it's a large so that's a good size all the bigger sizes seem to sell faster so i don't even know i don't even know what's in this bag you guys i'm like just digging in here like this is this is new for you it's new for me too it's kind of exciting <laughs> maybe i should do this every time don't go through my stuff for weeks okay this is athleta 
it's a women's size medium. It's like a peach and gray striped. It's a little bit of a high low hem. Um, and there's some holes on it. I, I love shirts with thumb holes. They sell really well. Athleta doesn't do super good for me, you guys, honestly. I know it's a good brand, but it just, it's kind of hit or miss. Athleta dresses do pretty well, but it's kind of like Lululemon, how it's hard to find the bigger sizes. Usually when you do find Athleta, you're like, yay, Athleta, and then it's like an extra small, and then it sits in your store for months on end. Um, this was a Lauren, Ralph Lauren, and I typically probably wouldn't buy this unless I did find it at the bins, but it's a, it's it's actually a really pretty sweater. Turtleneck, long sleeve, it's a really good size. It's an ex, women's extra large, so I thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> so again, I, I'll search it over for any holes because it is wool, and wool is notorious for getting um, moth holes in it. So I gotta make sure I really look that over. Oh. I'm hearing something. Pots and pans. Revere wear. Any of you guys who have watched my videos know that I love Revere wear. Um, and I try to get all different things in Revere wear. When you can get it at the Goodwill outlet, um, that's great. A jelly roll pan. Best place to buy them because that probably cost me like 10 cents. Oh, that's right. A wok. These are actually really expensive and they're hard to find really good ones. So um yeah i know super exciting video you guys get to see like cookware okay that was one bag down yay oh this was random things too that's right i found like a little puzzle a, the, with the big fat pieces this is more for my kids i'll let them play with it for a little while and then i'll either redonate it or pass it on um or try to sell these as a as a p as a um, lot of like puzzles this was um busy bu the busy town little puzzle and again p nice bigger pieces um ooh, this is really exciting hmm, twine exciting i will wrap some of my packages in twine especially if they're going poshmark because you know you want to make your packages look nice i'll put tissue paper and then put twine on it and um that kind of goes along with my farm mama theme Oh my gosh, just random things, you guys. A measuring thing. A, this is a Pottery Barn silver. I don't know if it's silver plated or if it's solid silver. It's pretty heavy. A um, little deer. I'll probably shine that up and resell that one. Ooh, a Barbie couch. Um, I found a few of the Playmobil um, people. Um, these are great in collections too because people love those found a makeup brush cleaning kit that was new. I pretty much buy anything that's new. I, yeah, I found these really cool. They're like little kids sunglasses with a neoprene base on them. I didn't. I could not find these. I know I looked them up at one point and I couldn't find them anywhere, but I'll put them up somewhere. These would be great for like a little toddler who can't keep sunglasses on and it has a nice little carrying case. Um, I found two of this, lost it, find it. Um, you attach these to something, your keys, and you can find it using your smartphone. Now, my question is, what if you lose your smartphone and your keys? Because I've never done that before. So I found two of them, and they're actually selling for like 10 to $15 each. These weigh nothing. But I could really use one because I lose stuff like crazy. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them, or I'll probably sell them because... I'd rather make money. Um, that was just pillowcase covers. Um, some weird brand new men's underwear. I don't know. And a hammer. Okay, that was like the that was like all my random stuff that I got. So you guys can see all that. See, I don't get just clothes. I think just looking at clothes is, can get really boring. So it's nice to look and see what else is out there. Um, I got this ex officio. It's like a fishing vented short sleeve jacket. This will be great for spring. Um, just a men's shirt. It's an extra large. I've done pretty good with ex officio, but that was like last summer. And I haven't listed anything like that in a while. Hey, I got another pair of big star jeans. Look at those pockets. Aren't those hideous? Oh, but people love this, I guess. So the big stitch that was really popular about five years ago. Oh, thanks. You should try the Goodwill outlet. It's fun. These are a straight leg. They're not boot cut, so that's good. They do have wear on the cuff, but most jeans do. 
And these are men's. Yep, they're men's. Do you know how to tell? I'm going to give you guys a hint. You can tell if it's men's jeans or women's because in men's jeans, the pockets are actually pockets. They're deep. And you can actually fit stuff in the pockets. Women's jeans have the teeniest, tiny little front pockets and you can't fit anything in them. Why? I don't understand that. But that's one of the ways to tell the difference between men's jeans and women's is look at the pockets. Uh, these are a 31 long. So that's great. Okay. Um, oh, those ones need, they have some staining on them. I need to look through that a little bit better. This, I think this was a top. It's brand new. I don't know that brand. Um, it's probably a, a boutique brand from, you know, LA or whatever, but it's just this boho. It's got these long sleeves and it's got this weird open back on it. Um, I need to steam it and throw it in the dryer, but it is new. It has the tag on it doesn't have the price tag on it, so I don't know how much they originally wanted for it, but it should do pretty well over on Poshmark, I'm hoping. Okay, um, I found two Victoria's Secret bras that are a small size, but I'll lot them together, and they're in good condition. Um, they're like 30, 32D, so those are pretty small. Pretty teeny tiny. I got, this was brand new. I don't typically buy Gap stuff. It's a Gap women's small um, puffer vest. And it has um, stretch sides on it. It's, it's you know, really nice. It's really nice. It's got the down filling and all that stuff. Originally $39.99. So I'll probably, I'll probably get like 10 to 15 for that. Um, this was a Cynthia Rowley. <clears throat> 100% cashmere sweater. I have not, most cashmere that you find, especially at the Goodwill outlet, is going to have holes in it. This is pilly. Um, I haven't examined it fully. I will hold it up to the light. It needs to be washed. So if there's no holes in it, I will wash it by hand and lay it flat to dry in cold water and like a wool light. Um, but uh, cashmere is really not selling well right now. I mean, it. I had a 100% a cashmere sweater up for like four and a half months before I finally took a best offer on it. But what I do is I will buy anything cashmere because one, it's really light, and I will put it in a crafting lot. And a crafting lot is people who repurpose their, their cashmere. They repurpose it into other things like hats, um, diapers, actually, baby diapers. Um, so they'll take the the cashmere that's damaged or has holes in it and they will um, make it into something new. Um, and so they'll, you can sell like so, like so many pounds of it on eBay. And the last cashmere lot I sold, it was a while ago because it takes a while to build up that lot. I think I sold it for like $65 in a matter of days. So that was kind of cool. Uh, I found a pair of Columbia zip off. These always sell well for me in the spring and they're just an olive green. They need to be washed. Columbia Titanium. So these are great hiking pants. Um, and I think they're really, yeah, size 36. That's like the best size of men's pants you can find is a 36. Um, yay, another bag done. Okay, this I bought for myself. This brings me joy. Look at that cute little farmhouse and the chickadees. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So this is a linen tablecloth. It has no stains on it. Um, and it's like a natural, like, linen that's like a cream oatmeal color and it's yeah it's really really cute so that I got for myself because I love farm stuff this I also got for myself it's a curtain I'm not going to use it as a curtain but I really like the material and I thought it would make really cute pillows um, and I really like those colors so I think I got each of those for like a dollar so that was great okay so here's like I was talking about size 10s this is a Land's End little cardigan sweater and it's a size 10 12 and it's pink and it has really pretty little green design around the edging of it. So that'll go into my, I, I tease my 17 year old on this. These, this is an, a brand new, one of those funny little see-through bathing suits that you can uh, get a tan through. So I told my 17 year old I got this for her and she just about died. Um, I didn't, of course, not at all, but um, it was brand new in the package and it weighs nothing. 
Let's see, I've watched a few of your videos, but so far you have probably mentioned this before, but are you a farmer's wife or do you? I lived on a farm for um, several years and I love farm theme stuff. I love rustic. I had chickens and goats and ducks and um, that's why I started my name as Thrifty Farm Mama because I have a big family. We had, we lived on 40 acres. Um, so that's why. And then... This one I found, it's Adriana Papel. It's a women's 14W cotton fully lined little dress. Um, it needs to be cleaned as you can see, and there's some stainage going on, but it's got the cute little eyelet design and any dresses with pockets is a bonus. This has a pocket in it, or not a pocket, it has pockets. So yeah, it's really, really pretty. And I love the size, um, size 14 is great. Okay, I got a whole bunch of um, diaper covers. I love finding diaper covers at the bins because they are super light. A lot of them are Thirsty's brand, which is a really good brand. They're super light. They don't, so I'm really not paying anything for them, and I can resell them all. So look at, I found a ton of them. It was like in this little. Some of them are small, and some of them are like a one size fits most but that's not even all of them I know I got more than that um, so I will wash all of those and I'll put them together in a lot and I'll sell them because I use cloth diapers myself and it, it saved me thousands of dollars um, so definitely Fabletta this cute little sports bra I think it's an extra large which is great it's a large black um, Homeschool Social Studies Workbook. Totally forgot I got that. And I don't think it has any writing in it, so I'll put that up on, on eBay for all of you homeschoolers out there. This was um, a Soprano. Um, it's a little girl's dress, and it's super cute. I can't remember. I know this is a higher-end brand, I believe. Um, it's a size 10, 12, again, so yay. I'm going to put that in my lot of girl stuff. This was a, I don't know, oh, it's Lucky Brand, men's Lucky Brand, extra, extra large, waffle, thermal um, shirt, men's shirt. It's in really good condition, so that's awesome. I like finding men's shirt. This was, again, another uh, guest jeans. These are girls size 10, and I have another pair of guest jeans that are size 10 up on eBay right now. Is it is Soprano Anthropology? Okay, I was kind of wondering about that. Um, so those will go in my girl's lot. I got this cool mug. I think it's just Ikea. Yeah, but I thought it was cute. So, um, here are some marmot, like running shorts, women's running shorts. Um, this is a great time of year to put up, um, any of your running stuff. Always check, like the bin pickers say, check the crotch, check everything. Make sure that there's nothing in there that's going to deter buyers look more diaper covers oh there's a linen napkin in there i kind of like linen stuff too it's a pretty little linen cloth more diaper covers look i found a ton of diaper covers and people do not get those so that's one good thing about going to the goodwill outlet is you're going to find stuff that other people don't and i mean everybody's looking for different things so don't feel like you have to rush through and um you know elbow people out of the way because all this stuff I found after everybody had already per perused through and like this is a rising tide I've never seen a rise usually rising tide is more like felted wool or they're like the embroidered boho like body bags and this actually is a purse and it's like it's really pretty it's a leaf pattern and it has leather handles on it um, I don't know if it's reversible, but on the inside, it's got this whole other pattern on it. Um, I've, I have not seen any rising tide that looks like this before. Um, so I will probably clean it by hand, even with the leather handles, I still will clean it. Um, and yeah, it's really cute. Does it bring me joy? Do I want to keep this? I'll have to think about it. I don't know. It might bring me joy. <laughs> All right. What is this, Roxy? It is, it's Roxy. Roxy brand canvas um, crossbody with a leather handle, and it's gray and floral. Um, Roxy does okay for me. 
Um, I'll put it over on Poshmark um, for like 15 bucks and see what happens. Uh, another bra, I always pick up bras, especially the good, the better brands. So any Victoria's Secret, Walk Hole, this is a um, Kashyyyk, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it's a Lane Bryant um, brand. So any plus size bras tend to do really well. And if you can find several of them and put them in a lot, that's even better. Okay, what else do I have in here? I don't know. Um, Angie, this is another kind of boho brand. I got it because it's an extra large and it's a skirt. Where do children's clothes sell best? I'm planning on starting eBay and Poshmark. Um, oh, you know what? See, I missed. Sorry, I'll answer your question. Look at that. I missed that. Do I want to repair that? No. So that'll go to the donate pile. Um, where do children's clothes be sell best? Honestly, I haven't had good luck with children's clothes, so don't spend a lot of time on them unless you have lots of them. Like lots of them meaning, um, especially baby clothes do not sell well for me. Um, older kids clothes do much better. Um, like, uh, I, like boys, lots of like five items, like three pairs of jeans and two shirts and you know, that are similar sizes. Um, the best, and they've sold on eBay. Um, I've sold lots of, um, not a lot. I'm meaning like a lot, like a lot of five outfits in one on Poshmark. Uh, I just started selling on Mercari, so I can't tell you for sure if Mercari is a good place to sell kids clothes or not, because I don't have any experience yet. But I plan to, because I'm going to cross post and I'm going to try it out when I, when I can. Um, these are some silver tab Levi's, and this is an older style um, tag so those are probably going to be from the 90s and they're 34 34s button fly um, so those are those will go well um, I think those will go good on Poshmark actually and what is this Volcom this is a Volcom hat I don't know what to, I, don't, I don't know what side I'm supposed to be showing you um, no yes it is and it's just a beanie yeah, you can see this is the Volcom symbol right there. Volcom is like a skater brand, like um, that does, it does, very, it has a good following. Um, this was a free people. You live on a 175 acre farm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a lot of acreage. Um, free people size large. This, um, this kind of brings me some joy. This might end up in my closet. So and it has like some bling on the front. Although those do sell, that style sells pretty well. Free People, again, is not doing as well as it used to for me. I don't know about you guys. I used to never find it either. I'd watch videos and get so jealous of people that found Free People. This is a scarf. It's beautiful, romantic. Has like little tassels on the end. I do see a tag. I usually don't buy stuff unless there's a tag. It's, um, the brand is blue. I don't know what that is. I think I got it just because it's so pretty but I would even wear something like that. Of course, I'll try to sell it first. Um, sock monkey hat. I usually get these little beanies and this is Manhattan um, Hat Company. And I, when I do buy hats, I really try to only buy hats that I know are um, a decent brand um, because otherwise I'm sitting on them and then I spend too much time researching and I try to keep my research to like five minutes max because I don't have time to sit and spend hours trying to research an item. Um, these are just some Levi's 505s. I and they're nicely distressed. I love the natural distressing on Levi's from the dark wash jeans. You can see that it's all natural. The cuffs are in great shape. Um, like you can see the wallet mark in the back. I just think that's kind of cool. I like that. So and these are a 3432. So um, I I usually will pick up these um, Lululemon bags because they weigh nothing. Um, oh, another diaper, another Disney parks. This is Belle, um, little dress. So that'll go in the Disney lot. Um, some of this stuff I probably just didn't have time to go through. Like I probably wouldn't have gotten this scarf. I don't think there's a tag on it, but it was probably one of those things that I was like, oh, I like that material. I'm going to throw it in my, in my thing. And then I, I was rushing to sort through everything and just kind of threw everything together. I don't know this brand dome, but it's just this cute little, it's made in USA and it's Merino wool 
just a cute little hat, little knit hat. Um, let's see. Oh, that's, I'm, I'm just pulling out some of the things I can tell I got for my kids. This is an Adidas women's extra large. Yes, good, extra large. Um, t just a sports top with a built-in bra. I'm sorry if, I, if anybody's putting questions in and I don't see them yet. Um, I'm trying to get through this quick too. Under Armour, this has got to be a youth large. I believe so. Yep, I'm right. Youth large fitted Under Armour shirt. And even the youth Under Armour does pretty well for me. Um, a pair of brand new socks. Sweater socks. That'll probably go to my girls. Some Levi's. I, Levi's, these are a high-rise skinny. Um, size 29. So I. that's why I got them. Because of their, their high-rise and their skinny jeans. And 29 is a pretty good size. I believe that's a size about a size eight, but um, that style's really in right now. Those mom jeans, which I don't understand. You sold your first two items on eBay, yay! That is so exciting. It's so exciting. It's it's quite addictive to hear the cha-ching on your phone. Um, so yeah. Uh, another Eileen Fisher. This still has. This is the. Um, the tag to the dry cleaners. Thank you. My mind drew blank. It's really soft. And it is a sweater. It's kind of a crop oversized sweater. It feels like it's like a merino. It's mohair. Wool, 42% wool, mohair, and nylon. And there's no holes in it. It's really pretty, really soft. So that I hope that does well. That would be great. What is this? I don't remember. Oh, it's the free people. So again, we the free. I think that's, I'm finding free people more because it doesn't sell as well anymore. Um, but it's this cute little purple uh, summer top and it has some tie dye on it. So that's, a, I, I usually will buy free people if it's um, at the bins and if it's a kind of a funky style that you know would do well. Oh, here's, I was looking for, I knew I bought mittens. We had snow a couple weeks ago when I was really sick and I knew I had bought some mittens for my kids and I couldn't remember where they were so it is what it is let's see Nike just a pair of um, leggings skinny leggings um, for working out let's see what was this oh yeah this is a Lola or Lole and again it's kind of like an Athleta and it is like this um, ruched like fitted dress thing I don't know if it's supposed to go like under an outfit like kind of like a sucking you in or if you're supposed to wear it like as is I'm not really sure but it's a large extra large on that more mittens here are some Grey's Anatomy scrub pants and I think I got these because there were several pairs of them so I can put them together in a lot I probably wouldn't buy those if they were by themselves um more diaper covers let's see these are elevenses if i'm saying that right elevenses elevenses this is an anthropology brand and these are pants that are covered in eyelets um but i just sold a pair of that this brand for like 30 dollars. so those are kind of funky they might be cute for spring on somebody not me i would not you wouldn't catch me dead in a pair of white pants what is this funky thing? I don't even know. What is this a skirt? Um, oh, wait. Hold up. Fava. I don't, I haven't seen this brand. It's USA by Joy Han. I think I looked this up because I had no idea what it was, but I had a feeling that this was, um, and this had really good comps. It's a shirt. It has this, okay, so see the stain? Can you guys see that stain on it? I'm going to try to get that out. It's a grease stain. I usually can get grease stains out um, using spray and wash and soaking. This is the, the waist part of it. So it's fitted. It has this embroidered peacock on it. And then it has this these huge wide sleeves with tassels like fr or fringe on the edges of them. Um, so I'm going to try to get that grease stain out because if I can, I might be able to sell that for like $45 or $50. That's not my phone. That's my mother's phone. She left her phone in here. Um, 
Hold on. Yay, live video. Okay, little 80s Nanette dress. I really like kids vintage too. You guys are gonna see. Kids vintage Oshkosh does really well, but just regular kids vintage, it's kind of a hit or miss. So, um, this was a Victorian lace made in USA, and I I'm, I'm positive that this is vintage because look at this French cut leg gussets on there with the lace trim. Um, I, I love vintage lingerie, so this has got to be probably from the 80s. And it's a women's size small, so it's made to fit really, really loose. Um, but it's really cute. This is Kiss and Cry. I don't know this brand either. I got it because they are linen. And they're just like a beach pant. Um, and they're size large. They're like a wide leg, super comfy. I know I had a pair of these, like, but they were, they were a Roxy brand. And I absolutely loved them. But they were red. And I decided after wearing them a few times, I don't really need to be wearing red to attract attention. J. Crew, um, J. Crew is a kind of a hit or miss too, but I really like this because there's a fox on it. And fox are really in right now. And it's just a little sweater, so I, I need to get that up soon. American Eagle Outfitters, these are jegging pants, so that's why I got them. And they're all distressed and ripped and skinny leg. So those are kind of a popular. I used to get jeans all the time, but then jeans started not selling because I think everybody started buying jeans and selling jeans. Um, this is a Torrid. This is a mall brand, but it's um, Torrid has a really big following. It's a plus size. It says it's a size four, but th that is um, vanity sizing. So it's a size four, but it's actually a 4X. So it's a 4XL. And it's just a really cute, oh, it's washing out. It's a, it's a really cute black jacket. Like, um, it has like darting in the back and everything. It's hard, it's a big size, so it's hard to put up all the way, but. Um, these were a pair of Eddie Bauer. I typically don't buy a lot of Eddie Bauer either, but these are the flannel lined relaxed jeans. They were a good size and they're in really good condition. So those of you back in the Midwest that are still dealing with lots of snow, um, those will be great. Under Armour headband. I think I have another one of those on eBay, right, or on Poshmark right now anyway. Um, I got this cool um, human body puzzle, and you put the puzzle together, and it's like 3D, and it talks about all the body parts. Um, I'm going to put that together with my girls. I found this perfume that's full. It is so fruity and floral, and it's called Thai Lily, um, but it looks brand new, so I don't think it's ever been used. Um, I got this pair of men's Hudson um, pants. They are size 33. They're like a really dark gray and a skinny leg on them. Um, I should, no, they're not going to fit my son. Okay. So they should do pretty well. Just a little pair of American Eagle cut-off shorts. Um, this is about the time to start listing shorts again or making my own. What are these? Oh, Lucky Brand. They are men's jeans, 3430s. Um, Lucky Brand does really well for me, for men. So I almost always get the Lucky Brand jeans. If I find them not women's Lucky Brand, no, they don't do well at all. Um, oh, more Lululemon bags. And then also this is a Disney Parks um, backpack that is in really good shape. So I will put that up as well. And it's really light. It'll be easy to ship. Oh, yeah. I forgot I got these, too. I found these really cool placemats. I wish they look like Pottery Barn or Pure One Imports. Um, I found six of the placemats. And then I think I found four matching um, linen napkins. Four or five, I think. Um, here is a wool scarf. This is called Sacred Threads. And it's 100% wool. And it is a, just a really pretty design. And I love these colors. These are my favorite colors right here. 
Um, so we'll see how that does. I know it's kind of getting late in the season for for winter stuff, but uh, Victoria's Secret bra. So another bra. And I always make sure that I look over it to make sure that the clasps are working, um, that they're not too pilly, that they're in good shape. Um, and I do wash them before I sell them, just so y'all know, because I always get that question. Do you wash your things? Yes, I do. I do clean them. Um, 36B, this is another Victoria's Secret. I got 36B is not the best size, but um, I really like the back on it. It was really pretty. So I got that one too. Um, I think I got this for one of my girls. This, uh, I can already tell right now, it's LuLaRoe. Yeah, LuLaRoe, I think it's a tall and curvy, um, yeah, tall and curvy leggings. Again, I don't pick up LuLaRoe um, in a regular thrift store um, because they don't really sell. Um, and sometimes I'll just wait and I'll put them in lots. Um, Here's some Koi scrub pants, size extra small. But they'll still sell. Um, I should be able to get 10 to 15 for those. And they're definitely like 8 ounces, 9 ounces. So that is worth it. Um, what was this? Lulu, this is a Lululemon tank top and it's got like a little knot in the front. It's got stains on it though. So it has grease stains. I got to see if I can, um, get those out. And I have no idea what size it is because like typical Lululemon, the tags are cut out and then you just have to measure it and guess the size. I hate that. I hate that. Oh my gosh. Look at more vintage baby stuff. My babies lived in these vintage little 90s when they were newborns. <clears throat> the vintage layettes. Loved them, those little flannel ones. Uh, Victoria's Secret pink sports bra, size medium. Nothing fancy. Um, I don't know what this is. H. I don't know what that is. H by Bordeaux. It's just a really soft t-shirt that might bring me some joy go in my closet because it's so soft what was this this had to have been a brand otherwise i wouldn't have bought it it's a long scarf rainbow oh yes um william brunton hand knits that's why i got it they had they had a decent resell for something that is very very light i love light things because i don't have to worry about shipping um baby gap um, kids size small, probably for one of my daughters, because it's really cute. Um, and if you guys, um, hopefully you watched my shipping video because I accidentally deleted it before I went live. So I'm really sorry that I did just a shirt for my girls. Um, I'm just kicking myself. I can't believe I did that. I'm such a dork. I'm still trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing. This beautiful silk scarf. Um, it is a brand. It's Nordstrom. Made in Italy, Nordstrom Best, 100% silk, um, Paisley scarf. So that's, this, um, was, is a tea towel and I got it because it was from the year I was born. So it has all the cool, um, all the months of the year and there's like a farmhouse on it. I just thought that was really sweet. Yes, I'm a hoarder of tea towels. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm seriously I'm I'm getting through everything. I promise. Thanks for sticking with me, you guys. For those of you who are, this is a Lands End bikini top or tankini top. Um, I always pick these up uh, when they're in good shape because they will sell really well. Always check when you buy, look at bathing suits, check the elastic, make sure that the, the elastic is still in good shape because um, chlorine will destroy the elastic. So this outside might look great, but then if you stretch it, it you can hear it like the fabric tearing apart. So, um, but this is the time that we're, we need to start listing bathing suits and stuff. Um, Harry Potter scarf, I got that for my son. I forgot I did, he'll be super excited. Um, again, another vintage little negligee thing. It's got lace and velvet. Um, it is a Sira. I don't know. It's a size large. So it has like satin straps, underwire, French cut, very high cut. 
but I, I just like those fun little laundry things. They usually do pretty well for me. Another Grey's Anatomy um, scrub pants. These are actually size large, so I can't lock them with the smalls, but um, the Grey's Anatomy ones do pretty well. I'm just grabbing stuff here. Okay, what is this? Oh, Nike. Nike Live Strong, dry fit, um, black, just long sleeve like thermal that you'd put on your undies. Mm. These were a Fabletics, size extra large. They feel brand new, so they are crop leggings. So I'll probably put that with that with the Fabletics sports bra, um, that is a size large and hopefully those will sell well. So another LuLaRoe tall and curvy. So yay. Oh, those are hideous. Personal opinion. If you like them, if these bring you joy, send me an email. I'll give you two pairs of them for a good price. Um, okay. What is this? What is it? Oh yeah. Um, this is Autumn Cashmere. So it's another cashmere. I just grabbed it, but it actually, it's like a shawl. And it's a wrap, so it's um, olive green with fringes on the edges, and it's 100% cashmere, very, very soft. Probably like a one size fits most. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters, these are uh, boy crop, they're size two, teeny tiny. Yes. <laughs> um, holes in the knees, holes everywhere. I don't know about you guys, but I see these young teenagers walking around with their pants like half on because there's holes everywhere and god bless them for their body confidence but not everybody should wear pants with holes in them i just i don't know i'm just saying okay tommy bahama this is a women's like um fr fron is that what those palm leaves are um bathing suit one piece and what size was that it is a size 10 so that was cute. I like Tommy Bahama stuff for women's stuff. It sells really well. Here is another bathing suit top. This is Harley Davidson and it is a size 18. So somebody totally messed up the straps back here. So I'm going to have to fix the straps on there, but it's a women's size 18 um, bathing suit top, Harley Davidson. Oh yeah, I, this was awesome. This is an awesome find. Um, Sakura Bloom is the name of it and it is a linen baby sling and it's these are really expensive really expensive so I was totally psyched when I found that um, it hardly weighs anything it's super soft and that brand of baby carrier is really really good so if you're having a baby and you need a baby carrier that's how I sold my last one was doing a video like this um, more scrub pants these are another Grey's Anatomy size large, so good. I can lot these with the purple ones. And these are just a blue, nice top on them. Bum, bum, bum. We're getting close to the end. Uh, another Victoria's Secret. Is this Victoria's Secret? Another bra. Um, no, this is a Notori, which is another good brand. And it's a good size. It is a 36 double D. Oh, these clothes are making my nose itch. This is why I wash everything because you never know what these clothes are touching. J. Crew size 12. Um, and this is just a little linen skirt. This will be perfect for spring. Somebody will love that. Maybe I should put that with the um, Eileen Fisher skirt. Little J. Crew and Eileen Fisher together, both size 12. Not a bad idea. Okay, we're back to our, we're down to our last bag. Last bag. Is this LuLaRoe too? This is a, yes it is. This is a 2XL. So I am going to lot this with those pants. So two pants and a bird skirt. I don't know what the styles are. I don't know what this is called at all, but, and I don't know if it has the, oh, here's the tag. Simply Comfortable, made in USA. So that's good. This was one of the ones that actually was made in USA and wasn't made overseas. Um, and it is actually really cute. I do like the birds on there. <clears throat> hey, look, more Grey's Anatomy scrubs. Size large, what? Three pairs in one lot? Yes, please. One thing to look at when you're getting scrubs is 
um, in the thigh area, you can see that these ones have some wear to them. Now you can take a, a depiller and go over that and that'll look like brand new, but always check that thigh area because that is the first place to wear in a pair of good scrubs. So a lot of times when they're donated, it's because of the thighs, your inner thighs have worn out. So um, this is a horny toad size small and it's just a little um, cute little maroon top with, you can see the floral and leaves on them. Um, and that it's in really good, really good condition. Oh my gosh. And how many scarves did I get? This is ridiculous. J Jill. I think that's why I got it. It's an infinity scarf with floral, um, leaves on it. Um, like cotton. Oh, this was so cool. I almost put this on or I did when I, I called Rachel from across the bins. I'm like, Rachel. And I like was wearing this, I was wearing this, um, beautiful like 70s apron so with little <laughs> copper holes on it that's where the so the tie comes through here bum, bum, bum. and then you can tie it around the front and you're ready to make pie on your farm so this was really cool i don't know if i'll be able to sell it but i couldn't pass it up because um it's a really cool apron and i kind of like aprons your mom would love that you might need to get it. It's all like patchwork print. It's really cute. Really cute. Okay. So you guys didn't know it'd be a try on haul, huh? Another Torrid. This is a size two, so two XL and it is a dress. So it's very pretty. It has a cross front on it and it's long. It's fully lined. Um, it looks kind of like a little Marilyn Monroe dress and it's really soft, soft and stretchy. This feels like cashmere. Yep. So another 100% cashmere. I'm pretty sure I had found a hole in this one, but it doesn't really matter because I'll just put it in the crafting lot. I'll probably make more from that. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This was probably my best find of the day. It's Eddie Bauer, but it is one of their, um, it's a Weather Edge EB600 Elite. And it is um, one of those really heavy duty down winter coats that's waterproof and it's a women's extra large. So it's an excellent size. It's, a, it's all black, it's heavy. So I'm gonna probably have to use like a large flat rate box to ship it. Um, but it is really nice. And these sell for about $300 new. So the fact that I got that, I was pretty pumped when I found that and looked it up because that should bring in some good change if I can get it listed quickly. That's the key. Um, okay, more Lucky Brand. I think I got two of men's Lucky Brand. This is a long sleeve plaid button up. And here's another Lucky Brand size medium. So I will lot these together. Um, and this one's just a t-shirt. Um, I had another men's lucky brand already listed, but I think I already sold it. So I was going to put that in there too. Cashmere sweater, men's sweater. Um, I'll put that in the lot. Another Land's End size 12 double D bathing suit top. Um, so I'll probably list those together. Oh no, that one goes with these. These are the bottoms. So it's a little skirt and this is a size 12 as well. Excellent sizing. Um, just a little bathing suit skirt to go with that little top. I love it when I find those together. It's always great. Um, some more vintage silver tab Levi's. These are size, these are girls size seven. They are definitely a high waist. Um, the bottoms have been cut and fringed. So we'll put those over on Poshmark. I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Okay. Duluth Trading Company. These are just some really good work pants and they were in really good shape. What size are they? 38, 36. That's a great size. Nice and long. Um, the bottoms of them are in really great shape. They're enforced, double enforced for those working mans who work really hard. Oh, so this is your typical rising, rising international rising tide look right here. These are so hideous. They're women's size medium. 
uh, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Some of you watching might be like, those are the best looking pants I've ever seen. You're so rude. <laughs> These are like your, this is called, is it called clamshell? Clamshell, how they do this to the fabric. But these are pants. They're lovely, lovely boho pants um, with the wide leg on them. They're really short, though. So they're medium, but they're really for somebody who's kind of petite. So I might put that in the, in the listing that they are petite. Please look at all the measurements. Um, these are just INC International. You can you get these at Macy's. Um, they were just kind of funky pockets then they're slim boot cut so again they're men's jeans that's why i bought them men's typically do a little bit better for me okay we're down to the bottom oh good lord three more things aha another pair of koi that's actually my size scrub pants gray let me see eh, the crotch is okay it's a little worn but not too bad um, Savannah size five, six, little top. That'll probably be for my girls and bullhead denim does pretty good for me for in the men's. So the, and bullhead slim 32 thirties. Um, they're nice dark wash. The cuffs are in really great shape. So those will definitely go over on Poshmark and we'll see how they do. And I think that's it. I may have missed a few things that have wandered away, but I think that was pretty much it. So you can see a wide variety of things that I got and I'll have to do another shipping video now because I deleted my previous one. So if you did see the shipping one, thank you. If you haven't seen it, well, we'll have to put up another one. So um, thanks for sticking around you guys. It's almost exactly one hour of haul. <sighs> We got through it. Now my job is to sort. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me. And Marilyn, thanks for the $5 super chat. That was really, really, really super sweet. And I will see you guys soon. And uh, blessings.